Thank you for joining us here today at the Lean Bakery, um, Better Customer well, Service Through Problem Solving. My name is Cameron. I'm with Lean Enterprise Institute. I just have a few housekeeping items I'd like to go over with you all. Um, so during this session, we are going to be live streaming. So if you have any questions or during the Q&A session, if you have a question, even though the room may be smaller size, um, please raise your hand. I'll come over to you with the mic so the folks at home can hear. Um, your presenters today are Oriol Cuatracasas and Egos Tena of the Institute Lean Management Spain and 365 Cafe. You can learn more about them via their bios in the Summit app or also the Summit brochure. And you can also find some more info about the folks that you'll see presenting today on Planet Lean. And we also have a book coming out in the near future, our, our second in the series of uh, Follow the Learner called The Lean Bakery. Um, like you, I'm also very eager to hear this presentation. So let's welcome them up. OK. Thank you very much for joining us in this session. Uh, I'm Oriol Cotecasas. Uh, I'm Agustin Tena. And also we are here with Juan Antonio and Emi. That they, they are the co-founders of 365. Okay? For language issues, we're going to make the presentation. But really, the, the people that we want to see is, is them. So in the question and actions and answers, we're going to try to have them and make some interaction with them. Sorry, we are not English speakers. So we ca you can make fun sometimes of our <laughs> words. If it's half funny, it's OK. If it's full funny, you can laugh, OK? <laughs> but not too much, because remember, it's just streaming, and then people from home see us, and then uh, <laughs> be polite with, with that, OK? In this learning session, well, we, we have a purpose. It's a learning session, but we, we don't want to teach you nothing. We, we cannot, OK? Probably you are not going to learn nothing new. We want just to share our experience in 365 with you. And always we say the purpose, the people, who is going to do that, us, Agus, Oriol, Emi, Juan Antonio, and maybe someone else. We are going to see. Maybe we have a surprise. And then how we're going to explain that. First, explain how we do Lean in 365. Uh, we're going to make a simulation. We're going to make a game with you, so we're ready to just to understand what happens, what was our initial situation. Then we're going to share with you some of the experiments that we ran to go to the future state. And then finally, we're going to go to the game again to understand which is the future situation. Some reflections and questions and answers. Yeah. And our shops, 365, is a very small owner company from Barcelona. We make bread and we, we, we sell bread and coffees. And now we are here because we are a pioneer of, of in lean manufacturing in, in our shops and in our factory as well. And we try to bring you there a bit. Okay. We try to make an agenda, but we don't succeed. We make a, an A3, sorry. Okay. <laughs> this is how we work in, in 365. So first, we're going to try to explain a little background. Okay. What is 365 about? Uh, very small. Don't worry. Then what was your initial situation? What what was the problem that we tried to solve? Then we're going to run this simulation to fully understand what was our real actual situation, initial situation. Then we're going to go to the proposed situation in these four aspects, the customer, the shop, the product, and the shop assistant. Later, what was the plan that did follow it, and some uh, follow-up about, about that. Well, let's just start with the background and objectives. And well, we're going to start to tell our story. And as every single story, it starts with once upon a time. Okay, it was a little city known as Barcelona. I hope that you know. In a little country named Catalonia in <laughs> Europe. Okay, and the story began with a couple, Juan Antonio and Emi, in a little bakery in a little street in a little neighborhood called Montjuic. Well, this is Barcelona. If you don't know, visit us. Okay, you are free. Uh, visit 365. Make a lot of expense there. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you have to support us. And well, this is our place. Our place is, well, we have a little factory where we make the, cro the croissants, the bread, uh, the muffins, all this stuff, some catering. We have the shops, of course. We have the products in the center. We have our people and the family, because this is a family-based uh, company. There are some of our products. We, we sell bread. It's uh, the most important thing in our company, the bread. After we sell some caterings, food, cakes, and pastries and coffees. This is the kind of product. Uh, this is our factory. Today we want to explain you about the shop, but we have all, all everything with Lean. 
That one is our factory. We, we use the visual management in everywhere. There's any wall in our, in our company without Empty. a paper. <laughs> it's everything full. Uh, we make everything, you know, the, our product, we make everything by hand. Uh, we don't have machines, it's not automatic. Uh, we make um, everything with the, with the hands. And we have all the shelves and everything uh, in the way of lean. But today we're gonna talk about the shops. This is some of our actual shops. Uh, we have shops uh, uh, in, the, um, in the center of Barcelona. Uh, we have mix of tourism or, or mix of office or people who live there. And we have uh, the, the most part of the shops in the neighborhoods, in the, in the places where the people live around Barcelona. Uh, they have to, we have to, to know which kind of uh, customer we have in every shop. In the shops in the center, we have more sofas and places to, to for the tourism and, and for the people who is eating there. In the neighborhood, we are, we are for, for the people who live there. And this is a bit different. This is our people. We have the salesperson, we have supervisors. This is our, our baker person in the shop, because now I explain you a bit experiments we are, we are doing now. And of course, the most important, our customers. This is a, the, the, the most important in, in our company, and everybody knows that. Here, for the, for the baker person now, you, you, you're gonna understand later, but no, we, are, we make a lot of experiments. Uh, a lot. <laughs> Too many, I think, no? And now the, the last experiments we are, we are doing is they the make the bread uh, directly in the shop. Normally the bread, we make it in the factory, in the factory we, we froze, and we bring it to the shop. And now we, we start with making all the process in the, in the shop, and we reduce all the process to, to very short process. And now we increase the quality, we increase everything, just putting a person there. It was an experiment we are trying now. Well, just to finish the background, this is about our objectives. As uh, Agus said, we have uh, shops in, let's say, poor neighborhoods. We have shops in the city center full of tourists, okay? Uh, rich people from California that comes there. And <laughs> <laughs> only the rich one, the poor, you know. Okay. <laughs> and we have some objectives, okay? First is read prices and quality. How we get them about read processes? We're very obsessed with the processes, okay? To have read processes. We want to create value to the customer constantly. How? Running a lot of PDC experiments. Maybe too much experiments, okay? Juan Antonio is the man of the experiments, uh, always pushing for new experiments, and the success of all of them, or most of them, and to improve the service. How? Improving these grid processes, okay? At the end, what we want is a grid customer acceptance, more products, more customers, that means growth. We have a motto that anyone can shop every day in our bakeries. It doesn't matter what they are looking for. They can do that. If you are looking for something, just a simple bread, it's okay. If you want a very expensive catering or cake, it's okay. So why? Because the price is so close to the value added that you want to buy always whatever you need related to or let's say thematic in our shops. Well, and also as part of the background, we have some personal history that I think that it's, it's important. Yeah. Here is our beginning. Here, uh, Juan Antonio starts at 70 uh, with the business family work. They have a restaurant, and, there, and then in the restaurant, they start thinking about the customer. The, the, his father told them the customer is the first, the, host, the customer is the first. They're always his plane. Uh, in, in where they have the restaurant, they, they make some obras, some works, some works around there. And sometimes they call him at 2 a.m. and says, okay, we have 100 persons, they want to come to, to eat something. Okay, don't worry, we open the restaurant and we do whatever, whatever, whatever they need. And they, they feel it like the customer is the first. And any time, any hour, any, any situation, they just think about the customer. This is what he learned at 70. And night eats, he, he started with, with his first bakery. Uh, he start doing well, everything is going well, and uh, he make until seven bakeries. But in 1995-97, between that, that date, uh, it was a crisis in, in Spain, and started the bankruptcy, the bankruptcy. They have to close everything, and they have to start from the beginning, beginning, just start again. But uh, in, that, in that beginning, he learned quite a lot, because 
he learned he's doing everything but the hair. He putting hours, putting time, putting everything what they, they have, but it's not enough. They, they need something else uh, to, to keep the, the business growing up. And in 2000, he started again. He, he met Emmy, an uh, exceptional person with, uh, with sales and in everything, and they start with his new first bakery. He's the, the first bakery, and they start working, and in 2003, they open the third bakery. And in the third bakery, they, they think uh, there's enough st space for the bakery because in that moment, we didn't sell anything, just bread and pastries. We didn't sell anything else. But in that moment, they, they saw a, a small space in the, in the shop, and they say, what we can do here is, is empty. We can do any, something else. And they say, OK, why we don't put a coffee machine there? And they put a coffee machine there, and they say, OK, we want to try. Uh, they never try with the coffee. They, they doesn't know how to do a coffee, but they tried. Uh, it was crazy. It was everybody comes there, everybody wants a coffee, and they start thinking, okay, if the, everybody wants a coffee, we have to put coffee machines in every shop. They put coffee machines in in the the two shops before that, and they start opening new shops with the coffee machine, with the space for the coffee machine. This is a, a learning. Okay. Meanwhile. Remember, hurt is not enough, so passion is not enough. Oh, he began to read every single management book that he has in his hands, because something has to be managed in a different way. In 2003, he read Volver a Empezar, it's a Spanish novel, about Lynn. It's still a novel, but there is something. So curiosity was alive, okay? Something lights up. It's still not knowing no, how to manage, know, but uh, uh, there is something. Yeah, And then in thinking. 2005, yeah, no, in 2005, he, he wrote the, he found the, the book that the, he helps a lot. It's the uh, Lean Thinking. He found the Lean Thinking. He, they, it was a, uh, a very funny history when he found the Lean Thinking because they never take holidays. They always was in the, in the, in the work. And they take, okay, we're going to take one weekend to holidays and we want to Galicia, to uh, a small place <laughs> in, in Spain. And in the airport, they found the Lean Thinking book. And he took it, uh, he started reading that book, and the holidays end. <laughs> the, he started he start reading, reading, reading in the morning, in the afternoon. And when he come back, he says, OK, this book told me how to do what I want to do in my company. Some principles. Well, just in context, imagine, this was the factor in 2005. You can see crowded, all the corridors full of boxes. Okay, all the machines always working, full of flour, full of everything, always empty, of course. So they, not, they need to do something, 2005, okay. And well, they have the opportunity. So just the building beside their main uh, factory, uh, just the, the people that were there just leave. So they can rent it and make a bigger factory. As you can see, all factories rings, so they need a bigger factory, it's, it's obvious. You can see here, they need more space. And, and always machines, especially the fridge, the fridge was a problem, the, the, froze, the frozer was, was always full. You have to move boxes to, to find something and move it again <coughs> with the trolley, so it, it's obvious, we need, we need more machines. This, this is obvious, okay? But well, in Lean Thinking, he found some principles, a small lot size, Flow. Well, I'm not going to teach you nothing. You know about that, okay? So they started the new factory, the pharaonic project. <laughs> Here you can see Juan Antonio, okay, <laughs> with the actual drawings of the new factory, okay. But well, after reading Lean Thinking, where we see that we need more space, now maybe we see that we have big batches, and maybe where we see that we need more machines. Maybe we see that we're making rework for the scrap. We're making rework, things that go to the debate, or, or just things that we are not able to find. Okay. So he said, stop the pyramids. Here it's Juan Antonio saying stop. Uh, you okay. remember, we, we rent it already. We, we start doing things. We start changing machines. We start doing things. But when he came back from the, the, the holidays, he says, OK, no. Stop everything. Put everything in the, in the, in the original place. I pay to everybody what the, the, the work they make. But 
stop everything, we st we're still working like the, the, the old way. Because if we have a bigger factory, it will be bigger waste. If we have a bigger factory, bigger space for rework. Bigger whatever, bigger machines, more machines, more idle time. We're going to go to bankruptcy again. No, 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 we have to change things, okay? So they start with experiments first. When, and in, the, in that moment, we, we was thinking, okay, what we can do to try this, what we learn in that book. And we say, okay, we are working in that moment um, doing uh, the production for seven days. If we will make croissants, we make croissants for seven days. If we make bread, we make bread for seven days. And we have our um, bottleneck, it was our freezer. We have a very big freezer, it's very big freezer for and us. That's obvious. Yeah. We are lack of machines, we need bigger, you know, bigger productivity, bigger batches, bigger productivity. We need to take a profit of the machines, of course, of course. Exactly, and we have everything full. The workers was working 10 hours, 12 hours, everybody was running because we, we don't have enough product, we have to produce more. We, we, doesn't, we doesn't bring all the product to the customer because we, are, we have croissants for seven days, but sometimes we sell quite a lot, and in the fourth day, we don't have croissants. We have to run to produce the, the rest of croissants. And the freezer... The, the, the demand, you cannot predict demand. No, this is exactly. usual. It's impossible. This is okay. It's impossible. Yeah. So, <laughs> you don't know, for a, a week in advance, make more croissants. Ma Just in if case, if remember we have, last week, no, we remember, need more croissants. Remember, if we have more stock, for sure we're going to arrive. We have more stock, Uriol, we, we're going to arrive, for sure. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a stock, no. No, then, we, then never, then impossible. never. Remember, customer first, have croissants. Exactly. And in that moment, we say, okay, the, well, our first experiment is just make the production for tomorrow. If we have uh, to produce 1,000 croissants for a week and 100 or 150 for a day, okay, we're going to produce 150. But the first day, we have 1,000 in the freezer. Okay, the first day doesn't make croissants. The, the person who makes croissants don't come, don't work today. Go home. Go home, stay two hours, produce just the things it's, uh, we don't have, and go home. And what the person says. Oh, <laughs> they say, Juan Antonio is crazy. Because Juan Antonio says, don't worry, I pay the, the full payroll, okay? But go home. After what you produce it for tomorrow, go home. If it's enough in the freezer, go home early. So people don't want to go home. They say, Juan Antonio is crazy. We need these croissants. We need these muffins. So they hide in the changing room, <laughs> saying, in minutes, Juan Antonio will come again from his insanity, and he'll say, OK, go, go, and work, go, go, work. We are here. Take profit of the people. Just work. No, it doesn't work. No. And they call Emmy. Oh, he, he, will, he will listen to his wife. Emmy. Juan Antonio is crazy. Yes, I know, I know. No, mo more than usual. Oh, well, <laughs> really. So what happened? No, he said go home and don't produce croissants just for tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be crazy. But it, it wasn't. It wasn't. We, we start making that. We start putting in the freezer just the, the, the amount for the next day. The freezer start to be empty. Remember, it was our bottleneck. It was completely full. If you want to go a step inside, you have to take out some boxes and make the step inside. It was full. And the, the, the frozen start to be empty, be empty. And in the end of the, the week, when we try, we say, OK. And if we are producing the, the things for tomorrow, and when we produce, we have to put it in the oven and bring it to the shop, why we put it in the freezer? No need the freezer. We don't need the freezer. So the bottleneck, we don't need it. Yeah, we don't need the bottleneck. We, we leave it empty, and uh, later you're going to see it, but in the, in the factory where we are now, uh, the freezer is smaller than the one we have in the, in the first factory. But now, remember, it was our bottleneck. And now everything full. What? 80 shops. And now 80 shops. 80 shops. Yeah. So let me summarize. We create flow. I remember lines exactly. in the corridors. We have to produce everything. All that the tools means close the, the production. A small lot size. Some of the trays, we just throw it away. Throw it away. So it seems that a small lot size, creating flow, it produces more value, and it makes more productivity. <laughs> oh my god. So sorry, no new learning. No new learning. You know, a small lot size works also, also here. But we make more, more experiments. We make more experiments. Well, in 2009, 
uh, they arrived to 33 shops. Remember, at remember, Paris. remember, we was with five shops, and we was thinking to change the the, the building. We can say, and we stay in 35 in 33 shops in the same building in the same space. We stay with 33 shops. It was for us, it was a a conviction. Uh, thing. And finally, a, a new factory. There is a lot, a lot of histories about also the, the new factory. Well, just now it's triangular, different shape. It doesn't matter the shape. It's important the processes, not the shape of the, of the factory. And well, there, there is a lot of histories about this factory uh, that is captured in Planet Lean, that is a great place of a lot of stories. And also here you can find, if you, ha if you have some curiosity about this factory, how it works, there are here some some more stuff, okay? In Planet Lean. Well, about the shops, okay? It was an evolution, remember here, with more or less number five, they started leading the factory, okay? In th about 2010, with these 35 shops, they started leading the shops. Okay? Exactly. In the beginning, when, we, when Juan Antonio says, okay, if this is running in our production zone, why is not running in the shops? And at that moment, Nobody did nothing in the production zone, and a few few times before we didn't so, we didn't see it before, but we start going to class. <laughs> I think we didn't tell them. We start going to class, and we learn it's everything. It's about process. We just process, process, process. And in the class, it was our first time we meet uh, Instituto Lin. Uh, uh, they they think we, we were crazy. I, I prefer explain you the <laughs> the history of the class uh, later later later. Uh, okay. Here, uh, later we explain. Here uh, you can see. Uh, here we start with Lean in 2005, more or less, and here in 2010 we say, okay, we want to start in the shop with the Lean. Amy becomes crazy. She says, no, 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 no. In our shops we can do nothing. We have customers. Our salesperson are doing properly. I don't have any problem. Everything is okay. But he says, no, no, no. We have to start with Lean, and Amy starts thinking about if they have some problems. Okay, because now, this is the background, okay? We make some works in the factory, we make some works I with Lean, okay? And now we arrive to the actual situation, okay, on, in our, our agenda. And as uh, I was said, well, this was the shops in 2010, 2009, okay? Completely full of water. <laughs> this is where the person attends the customer, full of water, full of things, mountains of product, we didn't know which one is the first we bake? We don't know uh, where is it. Uh, if the the one we are selling more product is better, you never know exactly. what the customer wants. If we okay. run out of something for the next day, more produce more produce more. We don't know if the, it's Monday, Saturday. Don't run out of supplies. So exactly. this is important. And well, as I was said, uh, Amy will ask why we have to go to the shops, because the shops are very different from a factory. It's people. In a factory, you have machines. Uh, we, we cannot apply that in a, in a shop. It's full of people. It's personal assistants, it's the customers. So it's not possible, of course. Well, it's true. We have some problems. We have some problems. We want to stabilize the situation because sometimes we have cows in the, in the shop. We want to grow up more shops and with better quality of life, always firefighting. This is a problem. We want to control the business. We want to control the product quality, not always because of these batches we can control that and we have to repeat. And we want that our assistants in the shops, or shop assistants, works without the stress and a, and a timely matter. But she say no. And then Juan Antonio say, okay, maybe you have to reconsider. And we say no. Finally, you know, husband, wife. Okay, I will, I'm going to try. I'm going to try, but with conditions. Okay. First, we're going to focus on the customer. Customer is our focus, so we're going to focus on the queues, in the waiting time, and also on the waste and the inventories. But very important, the people, we don't want to lose the motivation. We don't want to lose the joy. We don't want them as robots, because the standard work sounds me like robots, and we, we don't want that. Okay? We want to seduce the people, not impose okay, the new standards. And we want that our personnel have to be the protagonist. We say, okay. And, and we want also something from us. We want to understand how much time it will take, which is the cost that it will be for our company, for Silema, to do this, this stuff. Okay? 
Well, we need some volunteers. We need some volunteers. We need three volunteers, one volunteer. Okay, more volunteers. There is not, not, not words, not fire. Okay, so, okay. Another one who, third, third, okay, second, and who is, who else? More volunteers, okay, okay, volunteers, okay. Now if you can go there, okay, they are going to, to explain you what to do. Okay, <laughs> because now we are going to go back to 2009, okay, we are going to see how was our shops in 2009, so it's like back to the future, the same. We don't have a DeLorean, but well, we, 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 can, <laughs> we can figure it out. So now it's 2009. I see you younger. Yeah, you're younger. And some people have more hair. Oh, that's, uh, that's amazing. OK, we're in 2009. I want to explain you how our shops works in 2009. OK. Here we have some shop assistants. I think that. Which one? So we're going to dress. <laughs> Full simulation. Okay. And just okay. Agus, is this necessary really? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> if, if we don't practice, it's impossible to, oh my to understand that moment. <laughs> this is not what I expected coming to California. Yeah, this is. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Goal. OK, so this is our, our shop. This is our shop in 2009. OK. And here in the shop, we have some sandwiches. As you can see, this is a cheese sandwich. OK. Uh, so we have the famous ham sandwich, okay, very famous, okay, very ham sandwich. We have also some hot dogs, okay. And also, of course, you can come here and buy just some bread. Here we have some bread, some croissants, some muffins, some pretzels, okay. Or maybe some cakes, you have it, you have it here. So we have these volunteers, but we need more volunteers, okay. Who likes bread, pastries, croissants? Who likes that? <laughs> okay, so we need a big queue of customers. I think that all of you are going to participate in this simulation. Okay, so when, when I say we're going to make here a, a, a big queue, and I did two or three more volunteers that make a spaghetti of the people. Who can do the spaghetti? Yeah, spaghetti, spaghetti chart. Okay, okay, you can do a spaghetti, okay, of some of these people, you can both, you can do some spaghetti of, of the people that is going to work here. So here, we have Roberto, okay, our first shop assistant, okay, clapping for Roberto. Okay, Roberto, this is your work, okay, customers will come, yeah. and then they will have an order, this is the order that they are going to have. We're going to have a, another person, uh, Monica, okay, if you can go, okay, <laughs> clapping, clapping. <laughs> if you can go there, okay, to the, your position. These are the orders, okay? So if you can make a queue with Monica, Monica will give you, okay, an, oh, an order, party, whatever, okay, book, to, book, to do whatever. that. So imagine the first person comes here, and this is the order, a bread, a muffin, and coffee and water, okay? So I'm going to make a, as a customer itself, so I arrive here with, with Monica, okay, you have that, okay? You give me the first one, okay, thank you. And you have a coin? One hundred dollar coin is okay. <laughs> Wait, just yeah, just flip it, flip it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's head or tail. Okay, if it's tail. Okay, if it's tail, okay, that means that it's a takeaway. Okay. If it's head, it's eat in the restaurant. Okay. okay. This is important. So when you come here, you will receive an order, and it will take if it's uh, eat in the restaurant or takeaway. Okay. So you have to say here. So in my case, it was a takeaway. Yeah. Okay. So I are here. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I need one bread, one muffin, one coffee, and some water. And uh, take to eat the team or to take away? Ah, to take away. 
please. Okay. okay, so here is the bag for takeaway, okay, and here is the trays to eat here in the restaurant, so you can move to your place. So please, if you can give me the... Well, what is bread? Yeah, bread, muffin, okay, and then some coffee and one water, okay. To make the, the coffee right. here, you have the cups, okay. You have to put it under the coffee machine. It's an like espresso machine, okay? European one, good one. Probably Italian, okay? Okay, you put it here, and then you have to pour some water to simulate that is the, the coffee. No, 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 put the coin. Okay, the coffee is doing slowly as the good coffee <laughs> must be done, okay? And then also, uh, one water, if you go to the fridge, okay? Here we have the fridge. Okay. Here we have the, the store, the general store, okay? okay? So, okay, when everything is, is okay, okay? Okay, how much it is? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, three, and coffee. It's two, and fridge is two. Five and seven. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, you have to go here and uh, make okay. it, <laughs> the ticket. Uh, one, two, okay, thank you. Adios. Okay, adios. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Okay. Very. Very good. Okay, so we're going to proceed in this way. We have two shop assistants, okay? We have also Liat, okay? Welcome to 365, clapping for Liat. Okay, so this is your work, okay? This is your work. If uh, the sandwich is empty, okay, you can go to the, to the store, okay? okay? Pick more bread, but remember that this bread, okay, have to be cooked, oh, okay? okay? So you have to put it here in the oven, oh, okay. okay? As much as you want, okay? I think that you can feel six, but it's up to you, okay? okay? And then just turn it, okay? And this is the timer for the oven, okay? So when it finish, it's done. Okay. So everything hot, especially the bread, okay, have to be cooked because we want very freshly done Cook it warm, okay? okay? So it's easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you make this way, you tilt it again, yeah. and Great. it works. Okay. okay, really understood this? Really how our shops work in 2009, just before we vote for, for Lean. And let's, let's see what happened in, this, in these conditions. Okay, so if you can have here a line of customers, please customers, come here. You yeah? You give money. I give money. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Here you have, this is the, the real tag that we have, we take from the, our TPV, from, from our, okay, systems. This is the real uh, customer, so first, in this minute, this is the number of customers, second minute, this is the number of customers, okay? So, Monica, when you are ready, you open the doors, okay? Welcome One. to 365. <laughs> 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 you go there. And, uh, when they came, I yeah. have uh, some money. There are two super assistants, so you can ask. We, we need more customers, so please. We need more customers. Sorry. 
<laughs> eggs or cake? Oh, it's okay. Um, that would be okay. 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 This is how our shops worked in 2009. Okay, maybe a little queue, but this is okay. Oh, go, go, go. Coffee too. Yeah, two, two doors, two doors. <laughs> okay, so maybe a little queue, but this is okay because you know good places have little queue. If someone wants okay, to repeat. Don't worry. There is a, lo a lot of acceptance. Then more customers. We need more customers. You can return again. Yes. Please, we need more customers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Agus, I'm worried. Maybe, maybe the queue is it's too much. It's too much. And they don't smile. Please yeah. smile. Please remember a smile to the customer. A smile, smile. A smile. We have okay. to be happy. And offer, offer, offer it's more things. It's important. It's important. The joy, joy is important. I mean, otherwise we'll be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's our okay. first day. Yeah. Uh, I think that the queue is it's a little longer. Yeah, maybe yes. Okay, eh? don't worry, you are going to be served in a minute, okay? We have some problems now, but don't worry, okay? You are going to be served. The they, are, they are okay, they are okay. Yeah, yeah customers uh, like no, that. No, no, they, they can wait. We please make go faster, go faster. Yeah, yeah, go faster. Go yes, please. But smile, eh? Yeah, smiling, smiling. Remember, smiling. Yeah, Liat, smile, Roberto, smile, smile to the customers. Good people, good people we have. Yes, we have success in the factory. Yeah. Quality is high, people want to come. Right. Here, we don't have problem, it's just today. Just today. It's just today. Just today. Really, right? yeah. just today. Tomorrow we want to do perfect, for sure. No. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that maybe, maybe we need more resources. Yeah, I think yeah. more people. And more space, probably. Because yeah. look, it's crowded. We need more, more, more people. Yeah, more people. We more can resources. Always lack of bread. We, we need exactly. to put more bread, probably. Okay, don't worry. Yes, we are going to be served in a in a while. Okay, so don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Yes, I'm little little worried. Yeah, I don't know what happens because always we we do it more properly. Yeah. Uh, sell out, whatever. We run out of muffins. Muffins? Why? 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 We don't make the order yesterday. But no muffins at all. And we discover now, you, you should call before. Now we cannot call the factory. We run off Maybe muffins. I have to go running. I take the car. Yeah, take the okay, car take I the go. car. Go, go, go. go. yes, as, go. As, as fast as you can and, and take more, Why more muffins. Why we don't have muffins? I don't understand. Uh, yeah. We have to make more, more muffins. More, more stock, yeah. And send more, more stock. More, bigger stock, yes, more of stock. course. And we have a, a long queue. Ah, Monica, can you go and, and assist them? Yes, please go, go assist. We need more resources. There, we need more resources. Yes, please, please. We need more people. Yeah. Oh, but tomorrow we will have a free muffin. Yeah. Liat is is full of tries. Please, if you can, if you can clean a little, it's full of tries. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, it's messy, the restaurant. Please, if you can clean a little, okay, the, the restaurant, because it's, it's a lot of tries. Yes, uh, we, we forget always. It's, it's important also cleaning. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, uh, the, the, the image that we have with the people. Oh. I don't understand. Yes, and please, they, they go, are go, go, clean, go clean a little. Yes, please, if you can go clean a little. 
and they are serious. You smile. Yeah, no, please yeah, smile. No. Smile to the customers. Smile. Smile to the customers. Yes, please. Smile. I, smile I to the customers. Human resources. I don't know what, no. where they take those. Agus, I, I think that we need to rethink that. The whole thing. Yeah. We cannot continue in this way. No, no, no. We have to rethink completely. Happy. This, this don't work. This don't work. No. I think that we need to do something. Yeah. Something. I think that we need to do some lean. Oh my God. Okay, we stop, we stop, we cannot continue in this way. We, we close oh, the shop. We, we close the shop, sorry, sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh my God, I was. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. I was. We need more resources. Yeah. We need more machines. A bigger shop. A we bigger need shop. more supplies. We run out of Maybe two, two machines of coffee. <laughs> Too much Look, of coffee as well. The, 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 all the restaurant is not clean. The complete thing is a, is a disaster. Yeah. I think they have to go quicker. Yeah. It, they and are not good. And they are not good. They are not good. More. Well, I think that we have to start to running some lean experiments. Yeah. Maybe okay. we try. Well, first we're going to clap of our volunteers. <laughs> you make a, an exceptional work. Okay. <laughs> so uh, later we're going to, to give to all of you, but if you visit Barcelona ever, okay, here you have some free breakfast when you come to Barcelona, okay, <laughs> so Monica, okay, Roberto, okay, well, later when, when we finish, you, you don't forget to take sure. one, okay, so just a, an excuse to go to Barcelona, okay. <laughs> and come and, and visit us and, and test if, if we succeed and or all the improvement that we have to do. Well, if we look our actual situation or initial situation, we're going to see it in these four different points, the, the shop, the shop assistants, the customers and the products. Customers, how do you feel? Customers, how do you feel? Angry. 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 What else, what else? This is how our customers feel. I'm shocked change because I have some coffee, but it's really, really good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's espresso. It's espresso. <laughs> so, <laughs> angry, curious, waiting, not the you, right you, product. Quality. You know when you go inside, but you never know when you go outside the shop. Yes. It's impossible. S slow food. Slow food. Slow yeah. food. <laughs> slow <laughs> food. food. <laughs> okay. W what about the shop? Big stocks, full of cakes. Who eats cakes? We want muffins, we eat pretzels, okay? What happens with all this stuff? A lot of unfinished tasks you see here, all the shop, full of trays, dirty. Who is going to catch it? Okay. So about the shop assistants, how it was the spaghetti? Can you tell a little about the spaghetti, please? What happened? Well, we had a, a lot of people standing in line for the queues, so there was uh, people crossing back and forth and didn't know where to go to get served. In the back, they had to, to always cross uh, back and forth uh, to get from the place where they were supposed to take the order to where they were going to get the bakery products. and. Uh, also the time at the oven, then they would go back to the coffee machine and back to the oven again and, and then to the customer and, and it looked like the cash register was in the way of the person taking the order and so there was a lot of confusion. Yeah. <laughs> you describe it perfect. <laughs> you should come to work with us. <laughs> very, 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 very good. This was real. I remember the first time with, with Emmy making a spaghetti and she said, this is not possible. It is not possible that in five minutes we make this number of movements. And, and the, the immediately what they said is we have to decrease the payroll because Jim is included. Okay? <laughs> so <laughs> we don't have to pay too much to our people because Jim is included. But well, so collisions, as you said, movements, and spaghetti shows. And it's a very good tool we found for us, a very good tool to understand what really our workers did especially here in, a, in services, uh, let's say that in this case in a, in a shop. Let's say chaos. 
But well, this only happens in bakeries. Yeah, yeah no, it's probably only, it doesn't happen in your place. But just okay, this is what happens in our place. It's only in our shop. Only in our in shop. In the other shops, doesn't happen. No, as never, well. never. In other places, other companies, no. they have full standards. People know where exactly. to go. Exactly. Good flow. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And also about the products. Okay. No FIFO. No first in, first out. Did you sell in FIFO? <coughs> what is done better uh, before? Okay. Signal, no, not too much. <laughs> Neither do. Okay, so <laughs> this is yeah, what happens. But it's because they are new. The oh, rest of yes. people do it, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, no yeah. worry. Yeah. I'm sure the, re the rest of people do it. All the rest of they the They remember shops. everything here. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, now we're going to try to move to the proposal situation, just to share with you some of the experiments that we did uh, in, in this case in our, in our shops. Okay. So first, we change all the shop organization. We change completely, okay? We don't want, it, the shop is not more uh, a workplace, but it's also a tool in our standard, okay? It's not the place where the standards take place, but it's also something that we're going to use, okay? For example, okay, where do you think that is the center of a, let's say, coffee shop? Which is, the, which, which, do you, which is the place that do you think that we get most, that we are always using in every single thing? Not cash register, but very near. Not coffee, but very, very, very near. The sink. Because everything starts with a dish or with a cup, because we use not Okay, expensive, but we use real ones. Okay, so everything starts and ends in the sink. And what is usually the sink? In the back. <laughs> Good idea. Okay. Oh, maybe, but it's a dirty place. Well, if you put public, it forces you to have it clean. clean. Oh, not so bad idea. Okay, so how we're going to use our shop? The typical flows, okay, that everybody knows. Let, let, let's use it. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it real, okay. So, about the products. Yeah, here it was the the brochette we say. In the beginning, we we say, okay, we wanna do FIFO with the sandwiches, and we start saying, okay, we wanna make uh, some brochettes with a small stick with the with the flavor of the of the sandwich, and we say, okay, how many sandwiches of of ham? We, we make every day, we sell every day. How many? I, I think 12. 12, no, more, more. 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 I prepared 20 the, la the last day. Okay, put 22? 22, okay. okay. We want to make 22 sticks of, of brochette and of cheese. How many? Oh, we sell a lot of cheese. It's yeah, one I of our best so. sellers. I think, uh, I think so. Let's say at least 30. 30, okay, 30. We, we start doing the sticks, 30 sticks. And this is, we make it for every single uh, sandwich. Okay, when we finish, we say, okay, we have 200 sandwiches in every day. And they say, no, we didn't sell 200 sandwiches every day. But you told me 20 of those, 10 of those. You told me, we, we just make the sticks. We just help you to do it. Do we really have the control of our In that moment, we, we know. We didn't know how many sandwiches we sell. We don't know how many sandwiches we do. And we realize that probably even we don't know what the customer wants. We have figured out, but the real numbers, because I remember from the wow now, one and a half that we were making sticks, we control how many people ask for a sandwich. Yeah. Nine people. So no way that in the 12 hours that it's open, we make 200. It was a busy hour. It was <laughs> a busy hour. <laughs> so mm, there is a gap, there is a gap. Okay? Exactly. Okay, we start learning. We didn't know w how many sandwiches we, we sell. And we start taking um, numbers, and we say, okay, we want to make some sticks for, uh, for the each hour. And we say, okay, how many sandwiches we want to have in from 6 to 8, from 8 to 10, from 10. And when we have the stock of sandwiches we need in that hour, when we sell one, we make one more. When we sell another, we make another. If we, if we don't sell any, we are not producing. Normally before is, if you have time, produce. Produce more sandwiches, don't worry. We're gonna sell it for sure. Now we say, no, this is the maximum. If you have the brochetta empty, make one sandwich. Two brochettas empty, make two sandwiches. And this flavor, 
Just two sandwiches, no more. Just refill, 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 refill what, what and you... And people right say, now. you are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to run out the sandwiches. Remember the muffins. We need more sandwiches. They say, right. no, no, no. Just try that. Make a pool system. And the brochette is the Kanban. Okay? And it works. Uh, yeah, it works. And one, one, one thing we, we doesn't want, but we, what we want, what we have uh, already, it was in the night. Normally we throw away, we, we give it to a hospital, but we throw it away from the shop, all the products in the shop. In the beginning, we, we throw it away, 40, 50 sandwiches every day, every day to the rubbish. And with no FIFO, we doesn't know if they are the ones we make at eight or the ones we make at six. We didn't know. And when we start doing this, we, we put less sandwiches on the, on the end of the day, and we start throwing four, five sandwiches just to keep some in the, in the display because we want the customer to come. If it's empty, it's empty, it doesn't come. Uh, this is one thing we, we want as well. But the most important was the fresh thing. All the product was fresh. You can guarantee the freshness. Um, exactly. But with, with the pool system, of course, and with productivity also. Yeah. So again, sorry, no new learning, but pool works. Okay, so <laughs> keeping this really works. Exactly. We start with visual management, the shelves, later we're going to explain the freshness of all the products. Here sta we, we start again uh, with the queue. The queue of the, of the shop, it was a very big problem. Uh, you, you see it before in the, in the, in the practice. And uh, we start saying, okay, what we can do to, to take less time to every customer? It's not important the queue, the important is the quicker of the queue. Uh, we start taking uh, times in, in, in which hour the customers came, in how, in which, co which product they, they, they want in that moment. We make some changes uh, with the customer uh, changing the habits. They, they take a tray before, before sometimes we bring to the table, sometimes they take some re from, the, from the till. Now they have a tray and they bring from the till to the, to the table the, the tray. Uh, we start with zones. We change the, the, the play. The, we say every, every person who is working in the shop which task they have to do. So we standard work. Standard work, nothing, no, nothing different at no. the, normally. And, and we make the zone A and zone B, we say. Later we have zone Z because it depends the shop. It depends the hour, it's changing every hour. Um, and we educate to the new habits. Yeah. So here we start with the tag times. We make a different tag time for each hour. And instead of each tag time, we try to realize which is the work content that we have because it's not. In the morning, it's more coffees, but in the midday, it's more sandwiches and more meals. So it changes. So we use the work content at that time. And with this, we can create now the standards in a quite safe way. So nothing strange for you, probably. But and the display is changing. All the time, it's changing. Here, there are some of the, 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 the things we use. We use the shelves. This is our storage room. Uh, later, you're going to see a picture. It's a Kanban, basic, uh, electronic Kanban we, with daily, daily delivery. Audits, very important thing. We, we do audits before the busy time to check all the standards are correctly done. Th they make alone. It's not supervisor or something. No, they make for himself. Definition of tasks of priorities. All the, all the standard, the tasks they have to do, they are standardized and in every hour, in which time they have to do that. F5S, obviously. When we make 5S, there <laughs> we take out mountains of things. It was horrible. Uh, well, no, Ribble, no, wonderful, fast, I think. <laughs> and, and Kubek as well. We use the Kubek. The, the quality, volume, okay, delivery, cost, okay. In order to understand for every single day where we have the problem, to detect the problem as soon as it occurs, okay, in order to try to solve it. And we have like a little sheet where it says, okay, which is the problem and which is the proposal to solve this problem. So it's just, remember yesterday, Art Small, it's, it's uh, problem solving number one, okay? They have like little sheets that in order to, to do that. This is what we do. This is when we start. We have everything messy, mm, on the floor, mountains of things. You never know uh, if you need cokes or you need something. Just keep an eye. I don't think, I, do, I don't see it. I order it. And we run out of things. We, we, we have a lot of things of, and we don't need. 
We start with the 5S. This is uh, some picture of the shelves with the change in habit. Uh, we change the, the, the things we have around when the person, for example, in the coffee machines. We change the position of the machines. We change the stock or what they have to do, with, uh, what we have uh, of milk, of different kinds of milk. Uh, the, the, the most important thing is that one. We have to help quite a lot of the people in the shop. Remember, there are shop assistants. Normally, just they serve, they run, they, they know how to smile, but no, they don't know anything about the standards. We start coaching. Emmy was very good with that, and start coaching every person to go to the standard, and we have quite a lot of days <laughs> with helping them. Uh, and the audits to sustain uh, all, the, all the standards work we, we made there was and very important. As usual, the, we discovered with, that with 5S, we can sustain our standards. Because in the middle of the dirty, it's difficult to find things, to follow pool, to follow standards. So we need the 5S. And this is where the Philips audits was done in, in 5S. That one is our, our shelf. Now it is a bit changed, but this is the, the beginning, everything messy. Here, uh, it's every product has a, a space in the, in the shelf and a minimum and maximum stock. If maximum, there's no space. You can, you can put it inside because it, if you have enough, you can, you can put it. You didn't have to order before because if you don't have, see the red, you don't have to order. And uh, here we have the stock maximum for two days. In the beginning, there's a stock for two weeks of something and for one hour of another thing. And we are everybody running, bringing coffee, bringing milk, everything go to buy it in the supermarket behind the shop. Uh, and here we have enough stock for two days in the shop. And it's all. It's, this is our storage room with the fridge as well. The fridge and, and the product. So now it's very small, just two meters. And it can serve all the full shop. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, to the shops we go once, and some of the shops we go twice per day. Previously we went maybe once every two day or something like that. It, it was enough. But what we discover that we lack of muffins, we lack of things, and we have express. So we say instead of express, why we don't make just two regular meal runs, okay, like Tiger Roots, to all the shops. So we decrease the lot size, and we never have express, just the regular ones. Okay? So also we can decrease here, because imagine one square meter of warehouse in the center of Barcelona. It's very expensive. It's better to have another table with more customers. So we don't want warehouses. Okay? So, and in this case, supermarket and pool uh, help it a lot on, on that. And finally, we have the standard works. We don't call it the standard works. We call it a zones, okay, it's zone A, zone B, zone C, okay, this was developed by, by Arancha, that also is, she's here, and more or less how it works is, okay, we have one shop assistant, we call it A, that is the quick one, okay, quick things, okay, cash, hello, okay, serve, things that is already done, and then we have the slow one, shop assistant B, make the coffees, make the orange juice, make special sandwiches, okay, so a slow one. If you want to go quick, go to A. And if you want something slow, then you go to B. Okay? So this is the work content of the A zone, so the, say, the person A, and this is the standard for the person B. Of course, it's very difficult to have the perfect balance. So there is some A task that B can do. Not this, but this. And this is some task that B has to do, but also A can do depending on the balance, okay? And also depending on the tag time, because remember different tag times, we have different standards. Sometimes we have a shop assistant C, D, okay? And also it changes the task. So every, let's say, hour or every tag time, we can have different number of people with different tasks, different balance, and it works for us, okay? So again, standard work. Standard work. Works. Nothing okay. So no, no learning, sorry, okay? But it, it helped also to, to us to, to follow. And well, here you can see one of the standard works, okay, with the task, key points, reasons why. It works, it helps to train people, so no, nothing else. So here we have all this area, flow movement, 
about the people. We have better spaghetti, we still don't know. Oh. And some responsibilities, not only cyclic, but also acyclic. Okay? With Jaguars, we have to do some things. And well, we changed the way the shop assistants have been working for a long time from the, the from hairstyle. Always. So imagine we have some resistance, we have some impact. And here we need managers. Here's Izemi. I think that she was Monica. 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 Okay. And Gertrude. And side by side, never in front of. I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you. Hours and hours, days and days, beside, okay, manager beside the shop assistant, okay, helping, helping them to make the change, because it, it's not easy. You are used to work in that way. Maybe in the chaos, what is your chaos? Okay, I love my chaos, okay, so I can dive in my chaos, okay? And when, when and other people move my chaos, this is a problem, okay? But this is my chaos, but and re and this only happens in shops. But remember, they, they was in the shop in front of the customer. Remember, the, the thing we say, smiling all the time. They have to be smiling. The customer has to be co confident with the shop. It's not just go quick or go faster, no, no. Have to be smiling. And this is a, a very big reason. They, they have to help them to do it. Because if they are angry, the sales go down. We yeah. do it correctly, but the sales go down. How to have the people smiling, people happy, while you're making a cultural change to them? No, not easy, okay? Managers, side by side, hours and hours, showing, helping, removing all the problems, okay? All the little problems that they uh, have. Understanding. Understanding <laughs> them, <laughs> talking, okay? Refreshing, okay? Ensuring that, and saying, we're not going to come back. Smile, okay? <laughs> and we are not going to come back. So let's make it different, let's improve it, but let's, let's do that, okay? And well, these are some of the audits. Every standard needs their audit. Audit is done by the people itself, okay? Just to understand the gaps that they have. It's very simple, okay? More than three minutes is a failure, okay? It's a very simple audit that, that they have, okay? They, they make a cross and make some punctuation, okay? And well, about the plan that we have to, to develop, of course, well, this is the original A3 that they did it in order to make all the, all the change in the, in the shops. And here is some plan. And it was very funny because I remember when we finished, when they finished the, the first shop, okay, they say, I, I, it was summertime, and I remember Emmy with another shop manager said, okay, me in the morning, you in the afternoon, I think that we can change two shops per day, okay? So more or less, at the end of August, we can change all the shops. And it was not true. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, you cannot just go there to the shop, hello, new standards, okay? <laughs> we change the coffee machine, ah, you have the new plaque, okay, maintenance come to put the new plaque, okay, see you. No, I mean, it, it, it didn't work it, okay? No, 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 to every single shop is like a new project, they have to go I make an observation, okay, seven days. Then, okay, they explain, they make the change, okay, after observation, understanding how these standards will fit in this place because a standard is not always the same in every single shop, okay, 80 shops, okay, same standard but different appliance of the standard, okay. So, and then during 15 days, okay, to ensure that people can follow the standard, be side by side, 15 days, two weeks. After that, okay, uh, ensure 5S, everything is, is done, is maintained, first audits, okay? And finally, look, 65 days, every single shop, okay? They can do shops in parallel, not during these 15 days, not during these days, but every single shop for us is a different project to ensure that people can get it, to ensure that we have success. If you forget them before, we fail, okay? Right. And sometimes we have to come back again and again and again. Okay. After 65 days, okay, we get sure that more or less is, is okay. Okay, it, it appears a lot of little problems, so 
little A3s. We know that we have to make more, more A3s, but some of the A3s that, that we have it here, okay? And of course, part of the plan is to get this cultural change. Yeah, this is some of the things we learned when we did. Uh, we learn to observe. Normally, when we solve a problem in a shop, we arrive to the shop and we are the, 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 the solution. We, we do like this and we start inside in the shop. Uh, and we learn to observe. When we solve a problem, just take, take out, stay out, uh, just look. Look what happens because if you are, today you are there, but tomorrow you are not going to be there. And the problem is going to be, uh, but you are not there. And we, we learn how to observe the shop, how to observe the problem, how to help them to see the solution or the, or the right way to solve the problem. This is, I think, that one of the most important things we, we learn is not going inside, going outside, and try to bring the people outside to see the problem. Yeah. Can I explain a, st a little yeah, story? I okay. think. <laughs> <laughs> I remember once that we went there to the shop with, with Emmy and Conchi and Eva, that is other two shop managers, and they say, yes, we are going to go to the pilot shop before doing nothing, but you have to come on Sunday. Because Sunday is the busy day. You're going to see the problem. This is a real problem, OK? Not automotive, whatever. Yeah, this is a real problem. So we went on Sunday morning, quite a big queue. And I remember that just at the moment that I arrived, it was Sunday, so I, it was holiday. I, I take with my little daughter. And I arrived there with Conchi, one of the shop managers. And then coach, ah, hello, you're here. Uh, do you want something for breakfast? No, not for me, but if it's possible, a croissant for my daughter. And she said, yes, yes, don't worry. So she entered in the, in the shop to pick the croissant. Never returned. <laughs> I think it's still there. <laughs> still there. <laughs> OK. Well, after some minutes, Eva arrived and said, hello, uh, is someone? Yes, Conchi has just arrived. Ah, and you're not eating nothing? You don't, they didn't offer nothing to you? Well, if possible, if it's possible, a croissant for my daughter. Oh, yes, no problem. So I, I, I hear, listen, she entered in the, in the shop. Oh, Eva, you are here. Very good. Uh, do you have a croissant? Well, uh, croissant is in the oven. Beep, 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 beep. OK. If you take one croissant, can you put the other in, in a tray, OK, to serve the customers? Yes, don't worry. Absorb it. OK. Finally, after some minutes, uh, Emmy arrived. Oh, I'm late because uh, my son played football. Yeah, yes, I remember. You told it, OK? Uh, the other arrived, yes, uh, Evan Conchi is here. And where are they? Uh, well, I think it's inside the shop. Oh, where are inside? And you're not eating nothing? No, I don't want nothing, but if it's possible, a croissant for my daughter. <laughs> OK? Oh, yes, don't worry. So she went to the shop, in, inside the shop, into the back of the shop, and I listened. Oh, Amy, you are here. Look, this is not working. We have to talk about that, blah, 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 blah. Absorb it. Okay. So finally, I went as a regular customer to do the queue, okay, L long queue, and <laughs> I make all the queue. And finally, I remember it was Eva, well dressed like me today, okay, fully official, okay. So next, he, she looked at me and say, "Oh, we are not performing well, isn't it? <laughs> no, you, you should be out, looking the problem, not being part of the problem, but look cordial." This is what happens every Sunday. Here we have real problems. And here, today, they are very lucky because we are helping them. Because I don't care if I have to work. Okay? I don't care to get dirty. Oh, this is very good on a manager. Yes, yes. Change your position. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Well, I remember. Uh, they gave me the croissant. So with my cell phone, I recorded for a couple of minutes. You can imagine the spaghetti flow. So no working, but, but working a lot. Mm, OK, yes. Mm -hmm. OK, so when they finish, OK, two hours later, or you have seen. So we're lucky. Yes, this shop is lucky. But what happens with the other 34 shops? But they are not so lucky today. And I show it the video. And I say, oh my god, we're not doing nothing. We're just moving around, trying to chase what to do because we're in a hurry. And I remember, I think one year ago, something like that, Eva, one of these shop managers, called me one day and said, Orion, I have to tell you what happened today. Say, tell me, tell me. Today I was in a shop in where 
there is a shop with a, a lot of offices, so all the people rush at the same time, okay, to take the coffee and to take the muffin and the croissant. So we have long queues. So today I went there and I do what I usually do now. I go there, calm, I ask for a coffee. Doesn't matter the situation. I go to the corner, to the coffee, with my notepad, trying to capture what's happening, the problems that we have. So he was there. And suddenly one customer left the queue, approached to me and said, do you work here? And she said, yes. I have to tell you two things. First, I was a little angry. Because I said, oh my god, long queue? And this woman that works here is calmly taking a coffee <laughs> instead of helping the other shop assistants? Oh my god. But later, I have been seeing you that you are taking notes of the problems that you are here. I'm very happy because that means that you are from the central headquarters. Yes, I am. So someone said, here there is a problem because here we have a problem every morning. So you come here to understand the problem and fix it, isn't it? And she said, yes, well done, continue. Oh. She said, look, <laughs> customers are taking a part that we are doing that, that we are trying to solve these problems in this way. A customer said that, they say, oh, fantastic. So the opposite of what happened just in this observation some, some months ago. Exactly. There are some of the, the things we learned. Right? To play, make experiments. No, it doesn't care. Just make experiments and try to, to be better. Think before doing and communicate. We are a team and we have to do it together. We, we can do it alone. And not be observant. <laughs> this is one of the things. We're not, not go inside the problem. Understand the situation before monitoring the persons, but uh, we, we are more security of the methodology. We are more confident how to do to solve the problem. We don't know which problem is going to come tomorrow. We don't know. But we know how to arrive to the correct solution. We don't, doesn't know. We, we can be everything prepared. This is the fo some of the follow-ups. There are things that they are going very well. There are things no. But we take difference with the money, with just one person in the till, the, the difference between the, the, the amount, it was, it was less. The time of the customer decreased from one, I don't remember, but maybe one minute 30, something like this per customer, to 30 seconds per customer, something like this, quite a lot. The, the quality of the sandwiches was incredible. And the product counter, the, the, the product we throw it away, it was um, very good. And taking account that all these results, they make it with, usually they have three shop assistants per shift, and now they have two in most of the shifts. So <clears throat> better results, less people with less waste. They didn't fire no one because they are in continuous expansion. So they just rearrange people, OK? And also they are selling more. So now sometimes they have a third person or fourth person even in a shift. But let's say for the same amount of work, just one third of less people. And this is incredible because <laughs> that, that's true. The, the competitors doesn't believe that this is possible. They think th this is not possible. So yeah. it was three years ago or four years ago, OK, the, the once, one day, the police surrounded the factory, ah. OK, because some bakers, competitors, said that this is impossible, that in this small place, they can get this quality and this price, and this amount and this quantity. So for sure, there is a basement full of illegals <laughs> working, OK, almost for free, doing this, because it's impossible. So the police surround it and say, OK, where's the door? For the basement. No, there is no door for the basement. <laughs> Where is the door for the basement? No, no, we're going to begin to move machines to find it. Of course, there is no basement. Imagine how desperate are some competitors that they don't believe that they can do it better because it's impossible to do it better than they do. They have done that for tens of years, maybe hundreds, some generations. It's impossible to make it better, of course. Yeah. Okay. Well, now it's funny that they, it wasn't <laughs> it was, funny. It was not so funny this day. <laughs> not so funny. 
This is some of the tools we, we are using. The sh um, this is the, the things for the buys. There are the, the shelves, the control of the, of the products they bring from, the, from our factory, the, the day of the evolution, the quantity of product we have to do it uh, every hour, uh, some things from the sales, the, the position of the, that one is the position of the product in the display of every hour, the, uh, the, the standard how to sell to the customer and offer. Uh, here is the personal part, is the daily rota, the, um, the uh, standard work for, for every hour of the task, and, uh, and the, that one was the Iluo as well. And here it's for the shop, is it? and is the audits, the cleaning rota, and the, um, no, the audits and the cleaning rota. This is some of our folders. Okay, so you see this is the standards we use in the shop, okay? But also we're using standards and visuals everywhere. Just a little taste, because maybe later we are going to show you. This human resource board, okay, is the office of human resource. Uh, <coughs> how it works, so when there is a need of a new position or replacement, you can put directly here. If you're in a rush, you put it here. Okay, but it's, it's done by the people itself. So if you need a position, you come here. Not electronic, <coughs> we lose. Go here, put it, okay? You have to fill that. And here it's um, people accepted, but still not in a position, okay? Because we have a lot of people continuously that we have need, okay? So here we have people. If this is empty, we need to refill from here. This is here that we have made the interview, but uh, still not uh, say that uh, they are aboard, okay? And this is the different zones, North Barcelona, South Barcelona, okay? So imagine if this is empty, this is South Barcelona, we need to refill with people interviewed by the human resources from South Barcelona. And if this is empty, we need new curriculums, okay? But we are just going to have new curriculums, no, new curriculums for these positions in this Barcelona zone, okay, in order to have the appropriate people. So it's in a pool system, not in push, okay, but in pool to take more productivity of our human resources. Later, this position matches with these people after all this process, and they, they went, they, what they call the school. They have a, a, some shops that they call it the school, and they train them for a certain number of days, okay? These are the weeks that they are trained, and after these weeks, there is a go or not go, okay? After some months, this not go have to be reviewed because we invested a lot of time. Also, these people invested in us some weeks of his life or her life, okay? And we to understand how can we make it better to match it better or to have better people, okay? And later, they come here, they have some weeks of more in-deep test and leader training, and after that, they move to here where they are part of our crew with uh, every six months, they have, a, they have a little review, okay? So everything visual, everything in pool, following the flow, okay? So th they reach all, all the company, very simple, it's very simple. So nothing to teach you, okay? You know that, okay? It, it works, okay? Sorry, no, not a learning session, really, but, okay. And then, well, we have some reflections. There are some reflections. There are some I, we, I tell you before. Uh, there's no, there's no, a methodology make confident us uh, to resolve the problems. There are, is not the solution. Is 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 the way to found the solution, but we have to do it. Uh, we know we are not perfect, uh, and we have we have to know that because we 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 have to know where is it the gap, and and found them, and because it's the, the way to solve the problem, and the way to to be to keep the, our prices and our competitors, uh, and the the resistance of the people is al always there, but if you make experiments with them, if you help them, and if you try to be with them, normally the resistance goes down and they, they, they are with you in, in the same team, not in front of you. This is a very difficult learning, but we learn it. Um, and always 
there's a better, a better way to do the things. Always can improve. Always we, we have to know. We make the standard. We follow the standard. But always there's things we can do it better. So always new experiments. Well, now if you have some questions and answers, but so we promise you the the future. So the, a new simulation. Okay. So how the shops works today? But maybe. I Always experiments? No. We can make a new experiment? We have to be practice. We have to go to the Gemba, I think. We have to go to the Gemba. <laughs> OK. So let's go to the Gemba. Let's try it. Hello, Barcelona. Hello, it's not connected. One moment, please. <laughs> Hello, Barcelona. We are with some okay. friends here. Hey now. Oh, my God. Hello, Uriol. Hello, Judith. Hello, How okay. are you? We we'll see you now. <laughs> okay, we have here with some friends. We promise them to go to the Gemba, to go to, to see how actually a shop works. Yeah. So, but better to go to your place, to your shop. Yeah. So, I cannot hear you very well because some people here. Okay. <laughs> I will try to close to my very computer. <laughs> well, uh, okay, if it's possible, fine. can you make us a little visit to the, to the shop? Because with Agus here, we explain it a lot of things and maybe yeah. we want to share with, with the people. Okay. So we are in one of our stores in the city center in Barcelona. Now it's 10 to 9 p.m. Oh so my God. it's night time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what time is it in here, San Diego? Yeah, now it's uh, 12 o'clock, it's uh, midday. Now we are ready to go to eat some pizza, some sandwiches. <laughs> here in, in, our, okay. in our lunch. So no, no, not as good as we can see here in this, uh, in this show, but well. Yeah. We make I'm some sure that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to help my colleagues to explain you how we work. Okay. And we will start with my colleague here, Conchi. Hello. Hello, Conchi. Hello, Uriol. Hello, Uriol. Hello. You say Conchi? Yo soy Conchi, supervisora de tiendas, y os presento a Cristina, que ella hoy está ocupando el puesto de detenienta. So Hola. Hola. Hello, Cristina. Hola. Hola. Hola, soy Cristina y hoy estoy haciendo de A. Atiendo al, a los clientes y eh, le pido a mi compañera que todo el producto necesario para tener el mostrador lleno y me encargo, soy la responsable de la caja, yo, ah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Cristina. So she's in zone A today, she's on the till, she's responsible for the till, uh, she's attending customers as well, and then if she needs any product that she doesn't have on the counter, she asks the shop assistant who is in zone B. So now I'm going to introduce you, the shop assistant who is in zone B, Hello, hola. Hello, hello, we are Soy Eva, here still. Supervisora de... Hello, Eva. Hola, hello. <laughs> hola. Soy supervisora de tienda y estoy en la zona de cafetería y estoy con Katia, que hoy es la dependienta de. Y Katia os va a explicar qué tareas tiene. Hola, hello, soy Katia. Katia, la dependienta B. Hoy mi tarea es eh, realizar eh, los cafés, los pedidos de café. Eh, también estoy encargada de ayudar a mi compañera, eh, reponiendo todo el género y bueno, alguna de las tareas que tenemos es eh, ayudar a la compañera, hacer eh, los pedidos, adelantar las faenas. ¿Y qué puedes ayudar a la dependienta? Bueno, si tenemos mucha gente, eh, lo que podemos hacer es preguntar a los clientes que siguen si desean algún café o algún bocadillo que no se encuentre en disposición. Okay. 
Thank you, Katia. Bye. So she, Katia, she's in Zombie today. She's in the coffee machine, and she has to make the coffee, and then she has the shop assistant in Zone A to make any sandwich that she needs. Okay. And as well, if the queue is like very long, four or five people, she asks the customers if they want uh, any coffee, and she helps them. Okay. Okay. So summarizing, you remember okay. we call about and Zone A, Zombie A was Christina was the quick one. Okay, make the quick things, and B just two meters away. Okay, we have the B, so we can flow the queue. Okay, we can flow the queue. And in this place, we have the B, which is the long one with the coffee machine, with the orange juice, with the uh, uh, made sandwiches just for this minute if you need. Uh, I want a cheese and ham without cheese. Ah, okay. okay. We made it for, for you and this kind of special things or rare, or rare things. Okay. I think that we have it here, Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Hola, soy Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Soy profesora de la tienda 365 y yo os voy a explicar porque en esta tienda la dependienta C tiene un horario de 4 a 7 y ahora ya ha plegado. Entonces os lo voy a explicar yo. La dependienta C se encarga de la sala, de recoger, de reponer los servilleteros. Luego tenemos un indicador que es un reloj que os lo voy a enseñar. Cada 10 minutos cita. Entonces la dependienta C sabe que tiene que salir a recoger la sala y así la mantenemos ordenada durante todo el día. Mm. ¿Qué más os puedo citar de la sala? <laughs> ok. She, Rosa, she's a supervisor and she explained you what um, the shop assistant in Zone C today is doing because in this store we have one person uh, with a special timetable. It was from 3 to 7 and because it's 9, she's finished. So the shop assistant in the zone uh, is in charge of the floor, okay, it has to be organized and clear up. And then she has like a little um, watch and it rings every 10 minutes, so it helps her to go out and clean um, the shop, the, the, um, yeah. <laughs> the floor, sorry. So in <laughs> and she does the washing up too. In some tag times they have this C, okay, as in charge mainly of the let's say all the all the room if in case that they are not here they have this little clock that every 10 minutes reminds that you have to go out and make this acyclic otherwise you never have time for the acyclics and it's important to have all the acyclics otherwise you make a big batch and you know we don't love that so <laughs> okay <laughs> we have someone behind you i think yes we have our colleague jesus And he speaks English, so he's going to explain you what he does. Hi. Hi, Jesus. Hi. Uh, I am a process engineer, and I want to show you the, our warehouse. Come in, please. <laughs> It's very small, this is the warehouse. There's no space to everybody. This is our warehouse. Uh, It's very, very, very small. This is possible because the deal uh, comes every day and thanks of that uh, we can offer to the customer a uh, fresh product uh, daily and this is a good way okay so just just i didn't i didn't remember uh, jesus how many customers do you have in this shop per day uh, we attend about 700 customers by day And this is the warehouse. Yeah, this okay. is the warehouse, the big, big warehouse. warehouse. Okay, I, I will clap you later. It's impressive. <laughs> It's impressive. Yeah. Uh, I want to explain you uh, the operation to the to the order, and you can see uh, this number in the red box. Okay. When the uh, shop assistants come, uh, look. The, this number and is the number it's the same that the quantity of product she doesn't have to to order in this case okay a pull system okay with a replenishment number. limit yeah this number is um, a minimum of product that we have to to have okay very good we, we have seen we have seen some photos 
of the, all their shops, full of water everywhere, full of supplies in the corridors, and now it's, it's amazing how you shrink it, okay, to just these two meters, and congratulations, very, very, very good. I want to introduce my, my colleague, Unai, that I, and he want to explain some tools. Thank you very much. I'm Unai, the production manager, and I'm going to explain you uh, some standard worksheets that we have implemented here in the shop. Uh, as you can see here, you have seen before with my colleagues the different areas for different shop assistants, A, B, and C, and including D in some types of shops. Uh, you can see in this paper the different areas, very visual, and the tasks that they have to do in order to, uh, to, to, to solve all the, the, the generic task, cycle tasks that they have in the shop. Okay? Uh, the, you can see here the tasks uh, when uh, B can help A shop assistant. And here the task when A can help B assistant. Uh, yeah, remember we talked different about types. That. these the standards? Okay. Sorry? No, I, I was uh, reminding them that we have seen about the standards, so this is the real standard that you have on the shop, so everybody can understand yeah. and, and use it. Yeah, the, the, these different types of shops uh, could be uh, different shops or could be the, the same shop in different days or in different time frames. Okay, this is very important because it, it's depending on the tag time of the customer. And you can see here the list of the different tasks according to the tag time of the customer. Uh, you can see the different hours when uh, the shop assistant A has to do all these tasks. Okay. This is the same for the, for the other shop assistant B and C. We have these different tasks listed here. Okay. Uh, in, in, in order to more this, we have the Iluo where you can see the knowledge men apply it to, to do all these tasks for different shop assistants. So this is the polyvalence matrix yeah. of every single person that can yeah. work in this in this shop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is the clean, clean very important for, for health and safety. All the cleaning plans with all the audits, everything that legally also you need to put, but in a visual way, you can have in different ways, but probably you have that, so not especially in a shop, every place is, is the same. Okay, thank you, Unai, excellent. Okay. Bye. Now I'm going to introduce you to, to uh, Human Resources Department, where you can see uh, a visual management for new uh, employers uh, going into the shops. So here is the, the board that I showed to you. This, this uh, shop is a little bigger, so they have like a little office. And in one of these offices, we have the human resources, of course, inside of a shop, in order to have this contact with the people not far away okay, from the Gemba. So we need them, especially because human resources, the head, remember, is the head of our company. So we need them here. Hello, Alej. How are you? Oh, hello, Paul. How are you? Fine. Fine to see you. Fine, that's good, that's good then. Okay, so as uh, Oriol said, I'm, I'm Alex, I'm working in the HR department, and I'm gonna explain you how we manage our, our HR department. So the, every, everything starts with the demanding cards um, coming from, the, uh, su from our supervisors. So um, the, the, um, the thing is uh, we, we need to, to see if how the uh, demanding cards are urgent, depending on the color that we put in the board. So the, if the demanding card is really urgent, we need to put it in the red uh, board. If it's less urgent, we put it in the yellow one, and if it's not urgent at the moment, it's in the, re in the green one. So um, our goal is to, um, to, to see that we don't have any red at all in here. So we we have a red uh, card in here, is because we have some homework to do. Um, the, the step that we, that we match um, these demanding cards with our people is because we have a training, um, a store, a training store and um, we match, we, our process is to match these people from the school 
with our um, demanding card. So we have different areas in Barcelona, and depending on the demanding card, for example, this one, as you can see, is from the center of Barcelona. So we have to put a person coming from the center of Barcelona that is being trained right now, because we, we know that um, from before that this person must to be trained to fulfill the place um, to avoid that it becomes red. They match. So, uh, so, sorry? No, no, I was explaining that you match them. You match the need with the people oh, that we already we have selected them. before. Okay, so we yes. save time. So the, the way that we are working to fulfill um, our necessities and our training stores is pulling up all these people that uh, have, have been interviewed for us before and then we um, lift it up to the next step of the process until um, we, we put it in the training school. So once we know that we have a new, uh, a new demanding card from our supervisors, we um, put a new person when we have a space in our training schools to, um, and we put the new person in the training school to match with the, um, the demanding card. So uh, once, once we finish all this process, we, we pass them to the trial period time, and then at the end of the trial period, um, we do a performance review with our supervisors, and if they pass the um, performance review, we put them to work uh, straight to the, our uh, stores or our factory. Impressive. <laughs> okay, okay. You need a bigger office, Alesh. <laughs> okay, impressive. Yeah, I know, I know. Impressive the work. Right now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we finish here the, the, this well. visit, but I don't know, you have questions. You can make questions to... Juan Antonio Remy will translate. Yeah, you, can. you can make questions related to Barcelona. You want to speak with the shop assistants or with the shop managers. Any question that you have? We have re here the real people. Always go to the Gemba, Genshi Genbutsu. So we try it in this case. Sorry for the... Well, first, we are going to clap you. Not the one because it's the Okay. Espera, que encara no m'ha acabat. Gràcies! Ok. So, I don't know, if you have any question for us or for them. Are you hungry? Ok. After seeing all this stuff. Ok. Sorry for the connection. It was slow. We tried it with better connection. Probably someone is downloading something in Dropbox here, very heavily. Ok. Or downloading the last movie of La La Land or something like that. But well. We have, we have all these people. Yes, yeah, sorry. We yes. have one question. Well, first of all, thank you for the uh, presentation. It was very exciting and hands-on. It's always uh, good to do that. Question I have, and may maybe you explained it and I missed it. Um, what percentage of the improvements, the ideas for improving now, are coming from the people themselves, the, the workers? Okay, I need to say, uh, Eva Conchi Rosa, one question for you. Okay, which percentage of the improvements, of the experiments, of the things that, uh, that you improve comes from the front people? Yeah, translating. Yeah. <laughs> Yo diría, yo diría que estamos en un 45% aprox, pero nos hemos dado cuenta que no es lo que nos gusta. Nosotros queremos que las ideas salgan entre todos y de la gente pues que está más cerca de, de, de la cuestión. Y eh, estamos trabajando para eh, motivar y promocionar que las personas nos aporten las ideas. Tenemos unas hojas de ideas y esto hace que ya tengamos resultados y seguro que en breve podremos dar otro tanto por ciento, aunque okay. tanto por ciento. So they, they say about 45 percent, okay, but they are not happy with that and they are working to improve that. In fact, recently they, they didn't say it, but I tell you, uh, they make like the um, shop of the month or shop of the week 
And one of the, there are few things that you need to be the shop of the month or the shop of the week. And one of these things is how good are you doing ideas or giving ideas and putting in the ideas in place. It's something that they, they are working, they say they are working uh, on, on that. Okay, so thank you. Another question? Do you offer training to your new employees in lean concepts and ideas? Okay, I'm going to make the question Catalan directly. Preguntan si en les formacions que feu, per exemple, a la, a l'escola, tem d'escola, si també els doneu conceptes lean o els hi feu algun tipus de de formació en això. En la formación primero se les da una formación teórica donde se les explica producto, cafetería, herramientas y luego están cinco días con una formadora donde ven todas las herramientas que utilizamos y ya se van, van conociendo todo el sistema. Gracias. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, español? Sí. <risa> eh, cuando empieza una aprendiz nueva, se da una serie de herramientas Link, que es las que nos tenemos puestas en nuestra empresa, que se llama Herramientas 365, para introducirlas en el mundo de, de Link, que es lo que estamos trabajando. Ok, Entonces, so, uh, explain. So, first they have five days of theor theoretical um, concepts, ok, and they explain in theoretical way what they call the Link tools, but they call it 365 tools. Okay, so they explained these three, six, five tools and then they went to a shop that they call the, the school shop uh, for a certain days, usually one week or two weeks or so, side by side to understand the appliance of this concept or these tools. And for example, something that I know from the last time, they have a problem now because they work, they perform so well that some of the new shop assistants, when they arrive to a shop, they say, I cannot do that, this is impossible. It's impossible that myself can do this amount of work because in my previous jobs I know that this work is done by two or three people and here just one people it will be impossible but well now we have to say eh, keep calm just give it a try okay because probably with less ways you can perform that in a more uh, better way so these five days of theoretical they talk about products very important to understand the product and then the process tools, and they call it 365 tools, all these lean tools, okay? I explained it well, Jesus? Very well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Maybe last question, because we are hungry also, okay? Well, so thank you very much uh, to participate in this uh, learning session. Probably you didn't learn nothing, but just ensure that yes, it works, okay? Also in a little shop, in Little Barcelona. Okay, thank you.